Yo, what's up, it's Josh, welcome to the video. What's up, people? Thought I'd do a quick two minute Tuesday for y'all. This right here is the ultimate no BS automation guide for Ableton. Let's get right into it. First off, we need to see the automation lanes. And to do that, you just hit this little button over here, or you can hit A on your keyboard. Make sure that this keyboard is not turned on because if it is, the keyboard shortcut will not work. After you do that, you need to decide what you want to automate. And automation basically just means movement over time. And so let's start off with something simple. Let's say you wanted to automate a filter, taking out some of the highs on a beat. What you could do is take this Ableton stock auto filter and automate the frequency. And so what you would do is just right click, show automation on that parameter. And then all of a sudden it's showing up in the lane of the track that you have the automation on. And then right off the bat, you can just freely draw in your curve. And as you can see, it changes it over time exactly according to what you drew in. Oh yeah. Now a lot of times simple things like this will work. Let's say you want to get a little bit crazier with it. Some things you can do are highlight a certain section and Ableton actually has these default shapes that you can use. You can do some really weird stuff with this. This allows you to get some shapes that you normally wouldn't be able to get just drawing it in. Another possibility is to hold the alt option button, click on your automation line, and this allows you to curve it. Now if you want even more control, you just hit B on your keyboard to activate draw mode. And what this does is it allows you to draw in shapes according to whatever your grid is set to. Now if that's still too limiting for you, what you can do is activate draw mode and then hold down command and it'll allow you to just kind of freeform. You can draw cartoons, all sorts of shapes, just like you did in math class. Come on, you know you were doodling or sleeping in class. Don't play with me. Now that we've gotten the process out of the way, I want to mention a few of my favorite things to automate. The first thing is just using an auto filter or EQ. This is really useful for different sections of your song. Like you could use this on the melody, you could use this on the drums, just to make it filter out for a certain section and then kind of open it back up and build back up. Another cool thing is to automate the width on a utility plugin. One of my favorite things to do is make the intro of a song in mono, and then when the verse or hook comes in, make it stereo. This is just another way to make your tracks more dynamic, which is what automation is all about. Another popular use case is for delays. And most of the time, I have my delays set up on a send right here. And if I wanted to add a delay on, let's say a certain word or phrase, all I would do is just go to whichever of the delays I want. A is the first one, B is the second one, C corresponds to the third, and so on. And so let's say I want an eighth note delay on this particular part right here. I would just go right here, hit show automation, and then draw in my delay for that specific part. And then all of a sudden I would get a delay on that part. Another thing I like to do is use an RC20 on certain sections of the song. For instance, let's say we have this intro part, we could set it up, magnitude all the way, kind of filter it a little bit, maybe add a little bit of noise or distortion. just automate the magnitude of this plugin which is basically just a dry wet mix knob or you could just automate the bypass which is just either turning it on or off this is once again just really helpful for creating sections and movement in your songs well that's it for today's tutorial hope you enjoyed it and learned something make sure to comment below and let me know some of the things that you love to automate when you're producing if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel boys really trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year it would be much appreciated regardless of anything though y'all keep bobbing and having an amazing week i'll see y'all next time love you